this AMG is fast. We even got four wheel spin. We ride on TriStar tires, what do you expect? What a car. Guys, welcome to our first test drive. And this thing can't possibly be standard anymore. We're going to do some research in the manual of this car soon because the previous owner actually called us, well, sent a message through Instagram. And he said, take a look in the manuals, there's a nice surprise. So we're going to go through that with you in a bit, but this car is sick. What's also sick, you can activate this screen on the AMG models. And check it out, you can see the power it's running. That previous owner also made a few modifications to these cars. Actually, I'm saying it wrong because not the previous owner, but the owner before that. We've also spoken to them, so the first owner who imported this car from Germany in 2017. It has an aftermarket alarm system, class five with caution. We only found out recently when we were looking for the fuse box under the dashboard. So if you're going to steal this car, guaranteed we'll find it back. Yes? So the first owner who Germany has imported. So they also wrapped the car in matte black, installed a different downpipe and basically customized it a bit for that. Actually, it was the same with us. The previous owner who bought it broke it down. The story goes like this. He was in Turkey, you know. You all guessed it right from that yellow sticker on the windshield. So he had a little accident. Someone crashed into him during a wedding in Turkey. And then he just left the car by the highway there. It's really a crazy story, but this is how it happened. Why speak then? He does not want it on camera, otherwise we would have recorded it. He indeed wants to stay anonymous. He had an accident in Turkey and parked the car alongside the highway with the thought, yes, what am I gonna do with that car? So he called the Mercedes dealer in Turkey and of course they said, we can fix it for you, bring it over. He's quite good with that. And then he thought of bringing it over to the Netherlands. So the insurance declared the car a total loss economically with the damage he had, and then we bought him. So this is just the story as it is, and the thing is, our A45 AMG that we had is nothing compared to this one. That one was still completely standard, and this one has been chipped, and that's what we're getting to now. That four-wheel drive, I just can't get enough of it. I wonder if I'll be able to drift it. What happened? We haven't checked the books yet, but the previous owner advised us to take a look in the books to search for forms. So that's what we're going to do now. This is also the first time we're really looking into the manuals. Caraport, a manual, quite a lot of maintenance stuff here. All German stuff, obviously. What is this? Surge protectors, certificates, automated teller machine. Chit tuning powered by technology, Nissan GTR tuning certificate. Okay, so you have a standard power of 374 horsepower. They measured 498 Newton meters. And with Atom chip tuning, it went up to 414 horsepower and 654 Newton meters. Wow. So we have 414 horsepower, guys. Yes, that felt all right. Stage one chip tuning, 840 euros. Stage two and chip tuning. Stage two, guys. Makes sense with a downpipe, then you're moving to stage two. Power is spinning. But those pops and bangs, right? Doesn't really sound bad either. No, but that's probably because it's pretty much straight piped, so it just doesn't have any mufflers anymore, except when it goes into comfort mode because then it closes the straight valve. And then it goes through the muffler, and then it's uh, actually made we are super happy with this car, maybe even happier than with the Ferrari. And we also read in the comments that we should actually do more projects like this, like the GLA, because, well, I don't know. It might be more accessible for our viewers than a Ferrari project. You guys need to imagine that Ferrari really costs two or three times as much as this car, and that's what we make content from, and the views are just the same as from a GLA AMG. Does this say something about our viewers, or is the content just as good from a cheaper project as it is from a supercar? So that's something we're really going to think about more often. Okay, should we then look for less exclusive cars, but stick with GTs, AMGs, which we personally might find even cooler than a supercar? 
let me know in the comments. Let's say, let's add some slow-mos. And enjoy this car, let's go. Yes guys, the AMG driver's package is on it. Look, it's in there. We really need to test him as an AMG driver too, I think. So that's what we're going to do now. What a machine, guys. That sound too. Those pops and bangs just finish it off. Steer to the other side. I was standing here and he drove through that puddle, I decided, okay, maybe I'm positioned a bit wrong, but oh well. We didn't get wet and it saves measuring once. Sound check. I think the camera doesn't quite capture how insane this thing sounds, and I'm standing in crap. Daniel, really, you've made your whole car dirty, huh? But also a bit washed by those puddles, so who detailed the bottom again? I just want to put on my seatbelt since you're an AMG driver. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the camera as steady as possible for you all. I think we need to head to the car wash now. That's our next stop. Stop! Because all the mud needs to be cleaned off before the car dries. How much power are we actually getting on the screen? 615 newtons. Didn't you reach that on the meter? Not yet, huh? No, because it should have 615 newton meters on the dyno. But I think Hero indicated no more than 400 newton meters, I believe. And we were also going to test the launch control. I accidentally spat while speeding up. That's odd. That's very strange because... Why are you doing this now? Now the launch control is working, and all the time we wanted to show it. He didn't. So that's why we said we'll get back to it soon, and we wanted to come with bad news. He did it? He just did it, so that's super weird. Like, how? What made you do it now, but not before? Now you see, so now it's not working again. Race start not possible, and I'm doing exactly the same thing as before. And I expected it was because of the engine management light being on, leading to a certain protection kicking in. But this is really nice, because the action you need to perform to put such a GLA-45, A45 or something, in race mode or in launch control mode is in sport mode, isn't it? So that's basically what I just said. Coming from a comfort. And then I stopped and thought, yes, nice, then I'll activate the launch control and switch to sport plus. Hit the brakes, I step on the brake, levers towards me, yes, race start, not possible. So then you think, what am I doing wrong? because that's just the procedure to activate launch control mode. And they did that on purpose, so you actually can't keep basically at every traffic light where you can use the launch control. So yeah, I have no idea. I would say... Let's wash the car real quick. This makes no sense. I don't get why it sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Still quite odd. You're seeing the car for the first time since it got dirty.
We're back in the workshop and the car is still intact. That means one thing. We did our job well. What you can expect from this AMG in the future is that it will be in one color. He might also get a custom wrap. And of course, we're going to clear all the malfunctions, but what I'm most looking forward to is that at the paint shop, we'll lend a hand with sanding, repairing, and doing the dent removal work. So are you curious about that? Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification, and we'll see each other in the next episode where the AMG is only going to get even cooler. See you then.